today we are going to discuss uh, inverse laplace transforms first shifting theorem okay so we are going to discuss first shifting theorem okay first shifting theorem what it says is l inverse of f bar of s g equal to f of t then L inverse of f bar of s minus a is equal to e power a t into f of t. Okay, so if you know this one, you can solve the problems. So first we will uh, consider one problem. So that problem is find the Laplace inverse of one by s plus two whole square plus sixteen. Okay. So this is this problem is in the model. In place of s, we have s plus two. Therefore, you have to use the first shifting theorem. So this is simply you can write as e power minus two t into l inverse of one by s square plus four square. Okay. So e power minus two t into Laplace inverse of s one by s square plus four four square. That implies one by four into sine forty. So this is the answer we we are going to get. Okay. So next we will consider one more problem. Okay. So that problem is s three s minus two by find the Laplace inverse of three s minus two by s square minus four s plus twenty. Okay. So first, what you have to do is here in place of s, you don't have s minus two or s plus two, so on and so forth. So what you have to do this problem, you have to convert into a first shifting theorem model. Okay, for that one, here it is minus four s is there. You divide with this minus four s with two. How much you are going to get? S coefficient is two. That means you can write it as l inverse of three s minus two by S minus two whole square. You divide with four with two. How much is the coefficient of s is two? Therefore, you can write it as s minus two whole square plus. How much you have to write? Let us consider s square plus four minus four s. Okay. So how much you have to add? Sixteen you have to add. Okay. This is nothing but. L inverse of so here denominator is s minus two so numerator also in place of s you write it as minus two so therefore three s minus six three s minus six so how much you have to add plus four so minus six plus four minus two therefore three into s minus two plus four by s minus two whole square plus four square. So how much we are going to get is nothing but so in place of s you have the s minus two. Therefore applying the first shifting theorem, e power two t into l inverse of three s plus four by s square plus four square. So this is nothing but equal to e power two t into l inverse of three into l inverse of S by S square plus four square. S by S square plus four square. Plus again another term. Next term four into L inverse of one by S square plus four square. So this is nothing but e power two t into three into L inverse of S by S square plus four square. That means cos four t plus four into L inverse of one by square plus four square one by four into sine four t. So four four will get cancelled. So you left with e power two t three e power two t cos four t plus e power two t into sine four t. So this is the answer e power two t into sine four t. So Next, we will do one more problem on the transforms of derivatives. Okay, 
transforms of derivatives what it says is first we will discuss okay so l inverse of f bar of s g equal to f of t then l inverse of l inverse of nth derivative of f bar of s g equal to minus 1 power n into t power n into f of t okay this is the inverse laplace of derivatives so first we will consider one problem so what is that problem is log of s 1 plus 1 by s square log of 1 plus 1 by s square so you consider the first step this entire one you consider it as f bar of s f bar of s is equal to log of 1 plus 1 by s square okay second step you simplify this one so what it will happen is log of s square plus 1 by s square this you can write it as again log a by b model means log a minus b log s square plus 1 minus 2 log s now you have to do the differentiation okay so f dash of s is equal to log s square plus 1 differentiation means 1 by s square plus 1 into 2s minus 2 by s so first you bar of s you have simplified next one f dash you have did the differentiation third step you do the laplace inverse laplace inverse of f dash of s is equal to 2 into l inverse of s by s square plus 1 ok 2 into l inverse of s by s square plus 1 minus 2 into l inverse of 1 by s so that is equal to 2 into l inverse of s by s square plus 1 l inverse of s by s square plus 1 means cos t minus 2 into l inverse of 1 by s means 2 this you can write as 2 into cos t minus 1 so fourth step so l inverse of uh, f dash of s means nothing but minus 1 power 1 into t into f of t is equal to 2 into cos t minus 1 ok so next step what happens fifth step what happens is Therefore, f of t is equal to 2 by t into 1 minus cos t. So, this is the how to find the Laplace inverse using the derivatives. So, most of the problems you come across with logarithms or tan inverse or cot inverse, you always have to use the derivatives. So, it is the, this is the given problem. So, this is the given problem log 1 plus 1 by s square first step you can say this one entire unit is f bar of s and you have simplified the problem okay next step what you did is you do the differentiation of the f bar of s one time differentiation next what you did is the inverse laplace inverse l inverse is the third step okay so f bar first step is the simplification okay simplification of f bar of s Second step is the differentiation. Okay. Third step is the L inverse. Applying the L inverse. Next one is the applying the derivative formula. So you got the final answer. Okay. So next one we will go, we are going to do one more problem. That is L inverse of L inverse of uh, we are going to do one more problem that is L inverse of <coughs> tan inverse A by S A by S plus cot inverse S by B ok first step what you have to do then you have to consider F bar of S is equal to F bar of S is equal to you have to consider it as tan inverse a by s plus cot inverse s by b 
so in the second step what you have to do is the differentiation you do the one time differentiation tan inverse a by s differentiation means 1 by 1 plus tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square x square means a square by s square into a by s differentiation a into 1 by s differentiation is minus 1 by s square plus cot inverse s by v differentiation minus 1 by 1 plus x square 1 1 plus s square by b square into s by b differentiation so 1 by b you are going to get so third step <coughs> so this f dash of s you simplify so what you are going to get is them so denominator is s square plus a square numerator you have the s square here s square will get cancelled so you left with minus a minus so b square in the numerator and b in the denominator therefore numerator left with one b by b square plus s square b square plus s square so first what we did is the next one is the applying the l inverse l inverse of f dash of s is equal to minus l inverse of a by s square plus a square okay similarly minus l inverse of b by s square plus b square okay so this is nothing but minus a by s square plus a square sin a t minus sin b t okay so fifth step l inverse of f bar of s means minus 1 into t into f of t is equal to minus of sin a t minus sin b t okay therefore f of t is equal to sin a t minus sin b t by t okay so this is the f of t nothing but the l inverse of f bar of s value okay so first what you did is in the first step so first step this is the given step okay f bar of s so second step what you did is the, you did the differentiation so given one is the first step second step is the you did the differentiation so third step is the you have did the simplification you did the simplification fourth step is the applying the l inverse so fifth step is the derivative formula okay so this is the way to solve the inverse laplace transforms using the some derivatives okay